Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabby and for today's video I'm going to be doing the top 20 tips and tricks or just things I wish I would have known before going to high school. I am 24 years old. I did go to college between the years of 2012 and 2015. I've been out of high school for about five years. I do want to do a video about my college experience personally so look out for that on this channel pretty soon. But today I do want to just talk about some things that I wish I would have known before high school or things I would have done differently. I do want to include my high school experience in this video just so that you guys get a glimpse of like my life at that point. I was between the ages of 16 and 19 years old when I went to high school. So number one thing that I thought of was I did actually have a YouTube channel during that time. The thing with me and my YouTube experience, I did make a channel and then people would find out and I would just delete them. I would delete the channel completely. I would delete every single evidence of video that I had because I was just so self-conscious. I don't want these people to think anything bad of me. I just had a lot of self-esteem issues with having a channel and having Instagram and doing all that kind of stuff. I wasn't confident in what I was putting out there. I mean, I did put it out and I did probably get a couple of views, but a lot of the views mainly, I think, just came from people in high school. And I wish I would have just kept it and kept like everything that I had during that time and never deleted anything. Just in general kept it up to kind of see where it would take me now because now I do have this channel. It's just really fun. Second thing is that in high school I was such a painfully shy introverted kid. I didn't really talk to a lot of people and in my high school experience what I went through was that I met one girl who then knew a lot of other people. And before I went to high school, I went to a middle school in Costa Rica. So I wasn't even in the States. I was already out of state when a lot of people from like middle school to high school, they just kind of jump and they all go to the same school. So they all kind of know each other. I didn't have that. So I went to a school where I literally didn't know anyone. So luckily I did find one friend and then she introduced me to all these other people which then a lot of them I still talk to to this day. The third thing I want to talk about is to stop worrying about what other people think of you during that time because high school will go by in a blink of an eye. Things just kind of feel like it, it just goes right really fast or sometimes they don't feel like that at all. I want to stress this because you might not see these people again after high school. I feel like high school it's all about like oh who are your friend and like who are you dating and like blah blah all this sort of stuff but literally as soon as high school is over like people don't talk about that anymore people don't want to know what you did in high school people don't want to know who you were like in high school so the fourth thing i want to talk about in my high school experience was that freshman year of high school i popped my knee so as i was coming down the stairs i don't know if this happened between the first semester or the second semester of my freshman year. But as I was coming down the stairs, I was almost close to where the ground was. So I was basically on the third step, almost like to where the floor actually was from the second story building. And as I was putting my left foot down, my knee quite literally popped. And I couldn't get up, mind you. I tried so hard not to cry when this happened. Luckily, this one girl saw me on the floor because I quite literally couldn't get up. And she was like, oh my god, are you okay? She ran to go tell the assistant principal. And then the assistant principal came. He basically had me so I was kind of carried like this. And it turns out that I couldn't physically put my foot down. So when I got up, I couldn't, like, my body would just crash to the floor. This guy came over and literally just told the assistant principal, let me just carry her and take her into the office because it would just be easier and also be faster. Which led to me quite literally having to wear a brace for not like whenever I would walk. Just led me to wear a brace whenever I had to do PE. And it was this big chunky brace and it kind of almost made me look like a robot. I was out of school for a couple of days because of that. That was not, not fun, not fun. 
I don't let her a lot and I really tried so hard to like not cry but I kept it in. The fifth thing was that I wish I was more involved in terms of like clubs and sports or just extracurricular activities. She was the one who kind of got me involved in certain clubs and I wish I would have just taken the time to really see what type of clubs and extracurricular activities that I liked and joined those. The sixth thing I want to talk about is it's completely okay to get lost to find your classrooms. It's completely okay to like ask a security guard to ask whoever is around you to locate your classrooms or stuff like that because you know it happens a lot of people get lost and it's completely fine. The seventh thing I want to talk about which kind of ties in with the fifth thing that I talked about was that I didn't do much in high school because of the fact that I was deeply afraid of what other people were going to think of me. As I said before, I was a really, really shy kid, so I didn't really do much. I kind of just went to school, went through my classes, had lunch, did all that kind of stuff, and then just didn't really do anything. Like, I didn't go to football games, I didn't go to baseball games, I didn't do extracurricular activities. I was kind of in my head of like, oh my god, if I do that, I wonder what people are going to think of me. And I wish I, did, I wasn't like that. If I were to go back to my high school self, I would literally tell her it's okay to like do other things that maybe your friends aren't involved in or get involved in things that you like to do. Next thing I want to talk about is in high school. I kind of want to mesh these two things together that when you're in high school, I feel like it's a lot of pressure on you to like find a school after you graduate, know what the hell you want to study when you graduate, do this and do that and like take AP classes and do all stuff. I never took any AP classes. I think I only took one honors class and I was a really lazy student. I still am. So I didn't do, I mean, I, I passed all of high school so it wasn't like I failed. It's completely fine and okay to not know where you want to be, not know what you want to study, only take like regular classes and not take an honor class and not take an AP class. Like if you don't have the grades to kind of go to like a really big school, it's completely fine to go to like a community college. And so a lot of people that I know now and a lot of people that I knew in high school, they did that and like you turn out fine. It's okay. Another thing I want to talk about is that eventually over time, you're going to find people that you like to hang out with and that bring you out of your shell a little bit more. One person that I did meet in high school that I'm still friends with to this day, she basically didn't really shelter me, but she was more so of the opposite of that. And she was like, hey, by the way, like, I want to hear about your opinions and I want to hear about your thoughts because I was such a closed minded person that at that time I didn't really think for myself which sounds really sad and she was the one person that I met in high school who was like hey by the way if you want to do this go right ahead like she was always that person that kind of pushed me to do things talk to people do all that stuff so it is okay if you meet one person and you later on you know, eventually maybe at the end of high school maybe like once you graduate you may not speak to the same friends that you started with when you were a freshman because I feel like everyone changes and there is such a, at least for me, there's such a big dramatic mindset and like when you were in high school versus when you graduate high school. Everyone has this like mentality in high school of like boys and dating and X, Y, and Z and like once you get out of high school, like the real world kind of hits you and people just don't really care as much. Another thing I wish I would have done differently is probably started a part-time job or something small junior senior year. That way I had a little bit more responsibility uh, like I do right now because I feel like it does teach kids at such a young age to prioritize their time and prioritize like when they have to get their homework done and when they have to go to work and all those sorts of things and you can learn about like money and saving and all that stuff at a young age and I think that's really important. Another thing I want to talk about is that you're going to notice that people are going to change and people like I remember when I was a freshman and like when I was a senior I felt like those are two completely different people. 
because your interests will change, your views on people will change. And that's okay, you have to know that. Like, not only are people around you gonna change, but you're gonna change as well. And I'm still learning and changing as I grow, and that's just part of, you know, growing up, and that's part of being a human being, is that we learn and we grow, and, you know, there's some things that we learn and we grow, and that's really important to have, and that builds character, and don't be so upset because someone, you know, changes, and don't be so upset because someone that you were friends with is now not your friend, or anything like that because people, you know, you'll grow out of certain people, you'll grow out of a certain mindset that you had when you were in high school, graduate high school and you'll be like, oh, wow, why did I think like that? And why did I think of this person this way? Or why did I do stuff like that? Or as human beings, we grow when we develop into different people. It's completely okay. And the last thing I want to talk about in today's video is that have fun, enjoy high school. Those are gonna be for might be the four best years of your life you also have to know that everyone's high school experience is going to be different and that is okay and that doesn't change your own high school experience from anyone else's and so just have fun you'll learn you're gonna learn a lot of different things about yourself and about others and about who your friends are and what you like and what you're into and all that kind of stuff and that's still something that you're gonna learn even outside of high school so you're such in a vulnerable and young age at that time and make memories take pictures you know if you're you were like a shy kid like me like eventually you might grow out of that and you know people are gonna see that and people are gonna be like oh my god you used to be so quiet back then and now you're not that's a good thing that's not something that should be taken like oh why do these people think of me like that no that's a really good thing shows that you're growing, shows that you're growing to your own person. Because during that time, you're only gonna be young once. You're probably gonna meet people who you met as a freshman and then you're gonna realize that you're a senior, you don't get along with them. Just enjoy those four years of your life. Take advantage of like opportunities and going to tutors, go to some football games and like go to some clubs and do all that kind of stuff because the only things you're gonna look back at your high school is all the things you wish you would have done differently or all the things you wish you would have done. That wraps up today's video. Don't forget to like, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the post notifications on. And I'll see you guys next Sunday. Bye!